you guys. So I have a great new box that I want to share with you. Um, these are all my Black Friday boxes that are arriving right about now. Uh, and I believe Nature Box, which is what I'm opening today, I think they had like either a free or two or three dollar box coupon. Um, so I did that, and then after I got this box, when I went on their website, they had another coupon that was like fourteen ninety five for two months. Um, and after seeing this box, uh, I jumped at it. So this box is normally twenty dollars a month, which is one of the reasons why I had not gotten it before. As you guys know who watch my videos, that's a bit pricey for me. Um, but. I'm really liking this box and so it may be one where I do like a six month or year subscription because you get discounts when you uh, do a membership like that. Um, so let me show you what's in it. This is a food box. So I have opened it so that I could review everything, so that I could taste everything. So what came right on top, this is how the box came, right like this. You get five large sized uh, snacks. So this is really cute. It came with a little little gift tag uh, for Christmas, which I always need. I am terrible at wrapping. I never have wrapping paper in the house. I never have gift tags in the house. Half the time I don't have scotch tape in the house. So um, having little tags is wonderful because I I won't have them. <laughs> so um, and they send you this little marketing material which I think is really interesting um, and here's why you can go on their website and choose what items you want to receive in your box so you can go in and basically customize your box so if you have something that you love um, and these kind of like these kind of snacks that came in here are really pricey in the store so um, while $20 is a lot um, it may actually, especially if you're doing a membership where you get a certain amount off, uh, it may actually not be that bad. Because uh, I always look in the health food aisle for these kind of items, and they are like 3 or $4 a bag, if not more, especially if it's granola or things like that. So the reason I found this interesting is um, it told me about everything in here which I don't know how they do if you can customize. So maybe just the first one will have this, or if they have a way to print this out based on what you request, I don't know. Um, but it says, snack happy holidays. Getting ready for your holiday gathering, you can make the party punch. We'll bring the snacks. Um, and I wish I had thought about this. These would have been great stocking stuffers for people. So um, I opened them before I thought about it. And actually, since it's my first box, I wanted to try everything anyway. But going forward, um, these would be really cute presents. Um, so uh, next year, you know what you're getting in your stocking. Uh, simply share this box of delicious snacks with your loved ones. Just be sure you don't miss out on the snack action yourself. Happy holidays from the Nature Box family to yours. So the five items that I got, let's see. So the first one was the Akai Berry Crunch. This is a granola. It's very sweet. My son loves it. I love it too. I mean, who doesn't love sweet granola? I don't usually buy it because it's so high in fat and calories, but it's delicious. And actually, high in fat and calories is not that bad for my son, who's a growing three year old and who goes through, you know, phases where he won't eat anything and then will eat all the broccoli in the house and then will eat all of the berries in the house and then go for days where he won't eat any grains. So, um, getting fat is not bad for him. It's a little bit higher sugar content than I would love for him, but um, it's not bad, especially as we don't have it as a staple in the house. It's it's a little treat. We've actually, I use that um, 
we are potty training at my house. We need treats. So uh, some of these things end up being treats because we don't usually have sugary things around my house. So what it says here is sweet rolled oats and dried cranberries and acai berries are perfect with your favorite cup of tea. And on the back, it says the cucumber sandwiches have been sliced, scones have been baked, and homemade jam is cooling in the fridge. All this spread needs is that sweet finishing touch. Pour this granola into a porcelain serving bowl and snack on the decadent tasting rolled oats, dried cranberries, and acai berries. High tea has never looked so good and so wholesome. Um, and then it also has, this will be on every bag, so our mission at Nature Box, we believe snacking can be a part can be part of a well balanced lifestyle, which is why we deliver a world of carefully sourced and nutrition approved foods right to your door, made from the most wholesome ingredients with no artificial sweeteners, flavors, or colors. We make snacking healthy, delicious, and easy. It also says tell your friends about us and they'll receive ten dollars off their first box. So I will put that code. Um, in the description down below if you're interested you get ten dollars off your first box so you get a box half price um, the other thing about nature box is um, I think you can say that you don't like certain items so um, but don't quote me on that so this as I said it has three um, three servings in here according to this and a serving is half a cup. I would say there's a lot more than a cup and a half in here though. I don't know. Um, it's 240 calories for half a cup and the calories from fat are 60. It's got 14 grams of sugar. So it's got a lot of sugar in it but it's also got 5 grams of protein. Again, um, it's not as good for me but it's probably fine for my son. Um, so that is item number one. What I'm going to do is, for those of you who uh, find eating relaxing, I'm going to try some of these, um, but I'll do that at the end, because I know I personally don't like watching people eat, and I don't like listening to people eat. So, for those of you who aren't into that, and are that really just like um, the unboxing aspect, you guys can just, I'll warn you, you can turn it off before I try anything. Um, next item in here, praline pumpkin seeds. These are so good. These, these are like candy. Um, and it's really good because we got pumpkins this year, but we never carved them. We just never got around to carving them. So we never had any pumpkin seeds. I usually do the pumpkin seeds. Uh, we didn't have any. So it's really nice to have these. Um, it says pumpkin pie spiced and everything nice. These seeds are the holiday season in a crispy bite. Okay. These are really sugary. <laughs> These are candy. Um, but I'm using them like candy. I, I have them, you know, I'll grab a few of them after dinner as my dessert. And I think as long as I'm using them that way and realize this is not an afternoon snack, this is dessert. And you can, I mean, you can tell what's dessert and what's not dessert. Um, it's raining, it's pouring. This tasty snack is totally reassuring. That's weird. Okay. Crawl back under the covers, turn on your favorite rainy day movie, and curl up with a bowl of these sweetly crunchy pumpkin seeds. Pumpkin pie spiced and everything nice. They'll have you wishing for cuddle weather every day. Um, and these are, this is a really simple, this is pumpkin seeds, sugar, spices, and caramel color. That's all that's in it. Um, it's four servings, about a third of a cup. Per serving it's 140 calories uh, that's one thing like nuts and seeds and things like that you think you're being really healthy and you are they're better for you there are a lot of calories so you kind of got to be careful with them 13 grams of sugar a ton of sugar again they're dessert these are dessert they're delicious desserts they're dessert the next item in here okay so I love these I've always loved these sesame um, sesame sticks whenever you can get them. I don't know if you can see them in here. You'll know what they're like, you know. I used to put them on like when I would make an Asian salad or something. Love them, love them. They call these oat bran dipping sticks. At your holiday party, serve these dipping sticks with sweet almond butter or savory ranch dressing. This would also be a great box. Again, if you do a lot of 
like entertaining. This would like one box and you would really have like your hors d'oeuvres set. You just kind of set these out in little bowls. It gives people things to snack on. If you need something to take to the office to snack on, this is as much as these are high in calorie, they're a lot better than a Snickers from the vending machine. So if you need snacks to take to work, I used to have um, a bottom drawer of my file cabinet where I had all of my snacks and I tried to have healthy snacks uh, in my office and everybody knew they could come to my office and I'd have granola bars and I'd have applesauce <laughs> in little containers. I'd have lots of good healthy snacks. These would be really good options as long as you wouldn't sit down and eat the entire bag, which I might. <laughs> um, so these say looking for a mid-morning snack, a lunchtime accompaniment, or an afternoon pick-me-up. Dip these oat brand dipping sticks into almond butter or jam. Oh, I never thought to dip them in almond butter. Mm, that would be yummy. Homemade ranch dressing or your favorite party hummus. That would be really good with hummus. The possibilities are endless for this snack. Served savory or sweet any time of the day. If you're looking for a bolder bite, check out our everything bagel sticks. Oh, I bet those are really good. So these are about five servings worth, a third of a cup again, which a third of a cup is actually a lot. I mean, that's two big handfuls of these, pretty much. Um, so unless you are going to just sit there and pick at them all afternoon, uh, as long as you portion control them, they are really filling too. There are 170 calories, 110 of those calories are from fat. So I have mostly given these to my son. They have no sugar, three grams of protein, because he can totally handle the fat. He's a growing little boy. So me, on the other hand, I don't need a whole lot of it. But So these are a good snack for him. I'll probably put them in his, uh, his box for school. That's the other thing. We don't have a lot of snacks around the house, and now that he's going to daycare two days a week, I need a lunch to pack for him. So I need a little bit more snacky stuff. Also, I don't know, kids just like snacks. Kids, he eats on the go, so having some healthier snacks, um, you know, when he won't sit down and eat vegetables and things like that, it's, they're good to have around. So this was the, uh, another thing that was in there. I love these. Citrus Chipotle Chickpeas. Snack smarter with these zesty and smoky dry roasted chickpeas. I love chickpeas. I love dry roasted chickpeas. Um, as you face the long train ride from work to home, your stomach starts to grumble. You start to lament your too light lunch, but you quickly remember these dry roasted chickpeas tucked away in your bag. Zesty and savory, with the simple sophistication of smoked paprika, you can snack smarter without spoiling your appetite. So, some of you may know I'm trying to lose some weight. Um, not a lot, just a little. But I, my son goes to daycare over near my parents' house. So I go and work on my computer at my parents' house while he's at daycare. My parents have so much junk at their house. My dad eats sweets like crazy. So there's lots of cookies, lots of <coughs> candy, lots of chocolate. And I have very little willpower with that stuff. That's why I just don't have it in my house usually, because I will eat mass quantities of it. And because I don't have it in my house, I'm really tempted to eat it there at their house because it feels like, you know, a special treat. I didn't buy them. I, I need to try them because I won't have them at home. So what I've been doing is I took these, I just threw these in my bag when I went the other day. And when I started really craving eating all the junk, I didn't even think about it. I grabbed this out of my bag. I ate some of this. It's very filling. Um, it's 130 calories for a third of a cup. Calories from fat are 25. So this is a really good one for me. It does have four grams of sugar. But that's not that bad. Five grams of protein, so it gives me protein. Uh, so this is a really good snack for me to have in my bag. I may actually hide this one because this is one I want for me and I don't want my husband to take to work or something. Um, so And they're delicious. They're just really good. So this is the piece de resistance. Dark cocoa almonds. So dark chocolate covered almonds. They're so good. They're so good. Um, 
hearty and coated in dark chocolate, these almonds will be your new go-to comfort snack. Yeah, that, no, they're dessert. <laughs> I grabbed two or three of them after dinner. They are dessert. These are not a go-to snack. <laughs> um, there's a quarter of a cup is 160 calories. 100 of those calories is from fat. It's got 11 grams of sugar, 4 grams of protein. So it's funny because even though it's chocolate, it has less sugar than some of the other options in here. Let's face it, everyone needs that go-to comfort snack. When you're up to your neck in deadlines at work, miles behind in household chores, and your email inbox just keeps filling up, take a deep breath, take a break, and take a handful of these stress-relieving almonds. Crunchy, hearty, and coated in dark chocolate, you'll be able to relax in no time. One thing I like about dark chocolate, dark chocolate is my favorite dessert, because I have found that a couple of dark chocolate bites, like a, I, I like Dove dark chocolates, and I also make my own chocolate, dark chocolate. Um, it is enough, you know, 40 calories of dark chocolate is enough to satiate me for a while. Um, if it's a cake, if it's a cookie, I will eat the whole box. Um, I try not to anymore, uh, but I could easily eat a whole, a whole box of cookies. Um, but I don't really need, feel like I need that with dark chocolate. So these are really good. The almonds also make them heftier. Um, so they are delicious, delicious, delicious. Uh, so on the back, it's got a little recipe. What does it say? Dark cocoa almond butter. Ingredients, one cup of Nature Box dark cocoa almonds, a pinch of sea salt, and one tablespoon of extra virgin almond olive oil. Add dark cocoa almonds to a food processor and process until thick and creamy, about 12 to 15 minutes. Scrape down the sides of the bowl with a rubber spatula as needed, about every five minutes. Add sea salt, extra virgin olive oil, and blend once again to incorporate. Stir, store in a mason jar. Fridge up to two weeks. Yields about four servings. That sounds delicious. I would not do that with these because, again, they're too expensive to do that, but it's really giving me the idea that I need to take, um, like, some almonds, of just a bag of almonds from a cooking aisle, and puree them, because I've been wanting to make almond butter. Um, puree them with sea salt, olive oil, and um, some cocoa. Just put some powdered cocoa in there, maybe some sugar if it needs it. That would be so good. It would be like a Nutella. Yum! That would be delicious. Uh... But these are, um, this is my nature box. I'm really, really happy I tried it. Uh, I, especially as the deals come in, you know, as they've got different deals, I think I will stick with this for a while. I think my family has really liked the snacks so far, and I think they will like them more and more. So I need to look into, I may pause it for a month or so, and we'll see, because um, I may not want all these snacks every month. But uh, I'm really, really, really glad I tried it. If you guys see a deal for Nature Box, snag it. Um, they have them a lot, I think. So, yeah, snag, snag a deal. I will put $10 off in my description box. If you want it, it it's a good, good amount of snacks. So it's probably worth even the 20 bucks. But if you can get it as a deal, that's the way to go. So that is the end of the unboxing. I'm now going to taste some of these. Um, so if you don't like chewing, if you don't like eating, cut it right now. Okay. So. Mm. I'm going to eat that sesame. What is the sesame one? Oh, brand dipping sticks. I love them. I love them, love them. Let me have a... They're, um... Also, most, almost all of these, yeah, I think all of these are vegan. Yeah, they say vegan on them. So, that's good for those of you who are vegan. Try to be vegan. I know there are some of these boxes that are gluten-free, too. Um, <laughs> it is before, oh no, it's afternoon, so this is lunch. <laughs> mm.
It's also really good dark chocolate. I'm really picky about dark chocolate. And it's around Christmas, so there's a whole lot of real bad chocolate floating around. Like, my son's got an advent calendar with the worst chocolate in it in the world. He loves it, but ugh, I don't know. I think it's somebody who struggles with their weight. I want my sweets to be really good sweets. I don't want to waste my calories on crummy sweets. So, so those are the oat brand dipping sticks. The dark cocoa almonds. Mm. Let's try. We'll end with the sweet ones. Let me have some of the citrus chipotle chickpeas. These are not very spicy. That's the only thing. I would love them a little bit more spicy, but I know a lot of people wouldn't. So I could always spice them up myself a little bit more, add a little cayenne to the bag and shake it up. Um, but for those of you who like a little bit of spice but not a whole lot, you'd still like these. They're not too hot. Mm. Yummy. Mm. But a little bit of spice also makes it so that I don't think I'll eat the whole bag of them. Where if they were just a bag of like salty dried chickpeas, mm, yeah, I'd eat the whole bag. <laughs> so, <clears throat> love granola. My son loves this. He ate a whole ton of this yesterday. It's really sweet. <laughs> You wouldn't want to put, put milk on this and eat it for breakfast. It is <clears throat> too sweet. You would end up with a bowl full of uh, sugar, sugar milk, which a lot of people like, but I don't know. No. <coughs> Sorry. Went down the wrong pipe. Mm. Sorry, it's probably not the most relaxing thing to listen to me call. Okay. And the last one. Sorry, I don't want you to think it's a hardship for me to taste all of these. It is not. They are delicious. Although I did get another food box today, a nibbler box, but I'll wait to do that because I've eaten enough snacks now. Okay, so these are the, I think these are my favorite. These are the praline pumpkin seeds. They're just candy covered pumpkin seeds with pumpkin spice. Mm. I have a little bit, just a little bit. I gotta stop. Going out to lunch with my mom soon. <laughs> Today is my day off from my other job. Fridays and Sundays off. So I asked, my son actually went to bed real early. His grandpa, hmm, sorry, I don't want to talk with my mouth full. Except I dropped one of these and I need to find it. His grandpa put him to sleep last night. And so he was up until 10. Sorry, not 10, 9. She usually goes to bed at 8, but he hadn't taken a nap. So if I was home on a day he hadn't taken a nap, he would have been asleep by 7.15. But because his grandpa was here, and they both are like lunatics when they're together, um, he was up until 9. And then he kept me up quite a bit of the night. He climbed in our bed, he needed me to come into his bed, I snuck out, he climbed back into our bed. So, he didn't sleep real well, I didn't sleep real well, and we both woke up at like 6.30. I don't know why. It was dark in the room. I have, as much as my sleep with him is erratic, I'm up and down, I'm in different beds, I do actually get quite a lot of sleep because I go to bed real early. I go to bed at like 10.30. 
and lately he's been sleeping till like almost 7.30. So even though it's interrupted sleep, I, I do get more than eight hours of sleep quite often if I don't have insomnia and actually fall asleep. So I think I had banked a bunch of sleep. So um, they say you can't make up for sleep, but you can bank it. So I think I had banked sleep. So I just kind of, one of the times he woke me up, it was 6.30 and I just felt like I had had enough sleep and I was up. So he was exhausted. So at about uh, 10.45, he crashed out this morning. So bought me a little bit of time to get a video done and some other things done. And, um, and then go out with, to lunch with my mom. So it's a very, very nice day off. And I'm so glad to share some of it with you guys. Nature box, if you like it. I love it. Happy, 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 happy. Um, I love these food boxes. So, uh, and the other thing I did today, in case you're interested, this is the new book I am reading. I am narrating for an audiobook. So making your office work for you. I got it in the mail yesterday from her, from the author. So I recorded a bit of that and we'll be recording all of that throughout the month to finish that up. But it's very, 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 very exciting for me. I love narrating audiobooks. It's like my dream job come true. So, um, so very fun. There's a little ramble along with my eating and, uh, thank you guys. And I will talk to you again soon.